And in case you're joining us uh, right now, this is Channel One uh, News Hour. I'm Ben Troinjue, and on this uh, second part of this live newscast, we're joined by Honorable Connor. Connor? Yeah, Connor. Uh, yeah, Honorable Colonel, we used to say Colonel, but Honorable Colonel uh, Geoffrey Kingangi, who is the Member of Parliament uh, for Mbeere South. Thank you. Kadu uh, By the way, many people don't uh, realize that you used to be the aide de camp uh, of the retired President uh, Mwaikibaki. Yes, I was. I was aide de camp for the former President. Uh -huh. His Excellency Mikey Bucky, yes, for three years uh -huh. before I joined politics. Okay, yeah. uh, first things first, what's your take on the just uh, announced KCPE examination for this year? Uh, thank you. Let me first, first start by congratulating the uh, top students, yes, and in particular Michael Muniri, yes, who did very well. Uh, secondly, I want to congratulate the Ministry mm -hmm. of uh, Education, yes. And in particular, the Cabinet Secretary for Education, mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Makoha, mm -hmm. for a uh, very well uh, supervised examination. Uh, the examination came during uh, the rainy season, mm -hmm. and there were challenges. Mm -hmm. But we saw a lot of uh, effort being done. Mm -hmm. uh, in my neighboring uh, constituency, yes. actually, the, the river swelled. Mm -hmm. And uh, the exam could not go in, and the, the helicopters came, yes. lifted the examination to the school, uh -huh. which is really commendable. Yes. And lastly, mm -hmm. this exam uh, has been announced in record time. Yes, At 17 days actually. 17 days. Yes. It is very commendable. I think uh -huh. it's always good mm -hmm. to say, to call out a good thing. Indeed. It has happened. Indeed. Uh, the CS, CS uh, uh, Professor Magoha, today talked about improvement of performance and especially. Uh, in the uh, public primary schools. And uh, uh, can we count this as a big success uh, to the free primary education started during the Kibaki regime? Uh, absolutely. It, it is a success. Mm -hmm. Even though I don't know all the statistics. Yes. But the fact that uh, out of the four top students, yes. it's uh, two from uh, public, public schools yes. and two from pri pri private schools. Yes. Uh, if that is anything to go by, uh -huh. then it has been a good improvement. And I think uh, the free primary uh, is coming of age. Uh -huh. The other thing, the other indicator is that uh, the last year, last year, uh -huh. I think the the numbers that performed the examinations uh -huh. were this year were about 30,000, 30, more. Uh -huh which means the uh, dropout rates, mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the dropout rates are going down. Yes. It is a major success, uh -huh. I would say that, yes. And uh, he also talked about 9,000 scholarships and uh, uh, to be distributed even to the slums. That actually, uh, he, he really mentioned this and uh, really put a lot of emphasis. Uh, more or less a shift in uh, a dimension in access for uh, scholarships and, and uh, other perks that comes uh, with education. Do you see it as, a, as it, as it penetrating and reaching the targeted uh, children? Uh, it's com commendable, yes. Yes. Uh, however, <laughs> 9,000 out of uh, 1 million candidates. Yes. It's really... Uh, a drop in the ocean? A drop in the ocean, <laughs> nothing to talk about. Mm -hmm. Because I, I, I heard him say mm -hmm. that uh, they, they will target the inner city, I mean the slum areas yes. in the inner cities. Nairobi, Mombasa. Uh, mm -hmm. That is uh, commendable. Yes. But when you look at like, my constituency, mm -hmm. uh, it is the total area is half the whole county. Yes, indeed. And it's, the, it is spread. It's a remote place. Yes. I have... The primary schools I have are half of what is there in the whole county. Uh, so uh, some of those areas are really, really remote. Yes. Uh, the, uh, the scholarships mm -hmm. would be better mm -hmm. if were more. I, yes. hope, I wish he was talking about 90,000. Okay. <laughs> the, the but uh, let's say it's a, it's a step it's, in it's the right direction. Yes. The kind of, in future, mm -hmm. I hope they can improve on that. Mm -hmm. and, and let me say this. Uh, and I think this needs to be addressed. Yes. There is always an assumption that uh, uh, the schools are taken care of by uh, 
CDF, uh -huh. which in a manner of speaking is true. Yeah. But if you look at my burden, looking uh -huh. after 150 primary schools, wow. and big number. 70 wow. secondary schools, with only the, the CDF, Yes. It's an enormous tax. It's, it, uh, sometimes we, we, we have just finished two years. I'm uh -huh. not going to all the schools. Uh -huh. And I, I doubt whether I'll be able to go to all the schools. Uh -huh. And all the schools require yeah. even simple basic things like uh, uh, just classroom, just accommodation. So I, 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 would, I would wish the ministry to have done more. more. Actually, more. now that you've mentioned uh, 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 challenges that you're facing, uh, you come from a region, Mbere South, considered as one of the semi-arid regions we That's have. Right. Right. And in most of the uh, semi-arid areas that we are seeing in the country, they really have a big challenge when it comes to infrastructure yes. and more so schools, uh, classes. And you come from a region that uh, your, your constituency holds more than uh, half of the seven folks, right? Uh, yes. The, Do you uh, have the challenges like electricity for schools and uh, other, other challenges? I have all manner of challenges. One, mm -hmm. uh, because of the remoteness uh, and the vastness of the area, mm -hmm. I don't get extra, extra money yes. uh, because of the extra schools that I have. So we still do have schools mm -hmm. that are really very, very, very poor infrastructure. Mm -hmm. Why? It, it, it's possible even to try and, uh, and, and do all the schools so that you have 100% schools. Yes that are uh, at least uh, built with brick and mortar. Uh -huh. But while you're doing that, uh -huh. uh, another area comes up and they start a primary school by themselves. That's what the communities do. Yes. When they find that they're walking too far, uh -huh. they start up something. Uh -huh. So you find you're chasing uh -huh. uh, an endless, uh, endless tail, you're chasing your own tail uh -huh. in terms of providing infrastructure using the limited resources. Uh -huh. So, so some of these remote areas, uh -huh. uh, my position is that the ministry should come up uh -huh. and uh, boost, give infrastructure uh -huh. to some of the areas that are at the beginning, so that at least we are at par. Perhaps can we start with the legislation? Perhaps you start with the, uh, at, at parliament uh, as we wait for government to do something? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Actually, with the, this, uh, this uh, issue of over-reliance, uh -huh. Uh, tendency to over rely on uh, national government CDF yes. uh, is under discussion uh -huh. so that people begin to, to know uh -huh. that this is just a limited facility. Yes. It cannot be de dependent upon to do everything, uh -huh. to pay school fees, to uh -huh. build classes, to do police stations, to build the chief's house, uh -huh. the, the, yeah. All manner of things, uh -huh. including uh -huh. even the, the, the DCC's office. Sometimes we ask to, to build. Uh -huh. We try, uh -huh. but it's really limited. It's doing a wonderful job, yes. Still yes. on the challenges, let's look at this, uh, the pupils themselves. Yes. You come from a region where uh, many, 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 many uh, pupils have left school despite the free primary education yeah. and indulged in the lucrative Mugoka. Uh, business That's right, yes. and the border borders. Yes, uh, I know it first time because I've also done a lot of stories on the same. Yes, yes. Kindly comment on that. Uh, yes, we do have a challenge. Yes, of uh, early dropout of schools uh -huh. you know, from from pupils uh -huh. from as early as standard five, standard six, uh -huh. uh, because they are engaging with the Mugoka business. Uh -huh. There's also another one which has not been highlighted uh, very much, uh -huh. and that is sand harvesting. Uh -huh. And the reason for this is that the area is kind of remote, uh -huh. dry, uh -huh. and uh, for the best period of the, of the, of the, of the year, uh -huh. uh, the only source of income that they have is either sand harvesting uh -huh. or the sale, sale of uh, Mira, yes. uh, the Mukoka. Uh -huh. And these um, uh, students drop out uh -huh. when the families are struggling. Uh -huh. It is not their wish to drop out. But because of the challenges that are there in the families, uh -huh. you find sometimes uh, they do drop out. Uh -huh. So what have we will be doing to overcome this challenge? Yes. We'll be mobilizing. Uh -huh. I go to every school uh -huh. to open the projects. And when I go to the project to open the projects, 
uh, the school community is always there, the teachers, the students, and the parents. Yes. And the, the board, the teachers, uh, the, the, the parents' representatives mm -hmm. are there on the ground. Yes. This is the time we discuss about uh, the, the kids that are dropping out. Mm -hmm. Because they belong to the community, Yes. we are able to discuss them. Mm -hmm. And the parents are there. Mm -hmm. and tell them we need you to bring back the schools. And mm -hmm. the, the administration, the chiefs, assistant chiefs, the Nyumbakumi, mm -hmm. they have been very, very helpful to bring back uh, the, the students. Have the uh, efforts been bearing fruits? It's been very, 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 very fruit. Mm -hmm. I had two schools which were about to close down. Okay. And we went there, we had a conversation with the community. Uh -huh. And the community uh, also pointed out yes. some of the challenges they have about the school. Uh -huh. Uh, some of them have to do with the with, with the with the the school fees, mm -hmm. uh, and we were able to iron out. And those schools are now doing very well. Yes. In fact, they are pulling out uh, kids from other schools. Okay. And I think also the once the leadership pays attention, mm -hmm. then the confidence is built uh, mm -hmm. uh, in the community mm -hmm. about the school and okay. the school improves. Uh, uh, by passing, uh, um, uh, Professor Magoha also noted that. Um, uh, as, as praising the boy child and the girl child, but said perhaps, actually there's the exact word he used, perhaps uh, we should also look on how to empower the, the, boy, the boy child. So I agree with on him 100%. Yes. And as particularly in my constituency, mm -hmm. uh, most of the kids that drop out of school mm -hmm. uh, to go do uh, business in Mira mm -hmm. and to do sand harvesting yes. are actually boys. Yes, true. So I have a particular uh, challenge with mm. boys. Okay. But I would say yes. that we drop the girl child no, no, and no. for the boy child. E exactly. But I think we, we, the peculiar yes. challenges of a boy child uh -huh. we should be looking to. Indeed. Uh, I know our time uh, is up, uh, but uh, you're also a Mount Kenya leader and you know the BBI. Uh, just one word, please, as we wind up. Uh, BBI. Yes. And the Mount Kenya leader. Yes. I think the newest is that we just come from Sagana. Yes. Where we congregate with the president of this country mm -hmm. uh, over issues that he wanted to discuss with us. Indeed. And the media, mm -hmm. um, very notorious. You're <laughs> 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 also on the receiving end. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that, yes. Uh, uh, continuous reports that is about BBI. Yes. It's about uh, 2022 succession. Yes. Uh, what I can report is that it was not about BBI. Mm -hmm. It was not about 2022. Mm -hmm. The leaders of Mount Kenya mm -hmm. had their issues. Okay. Uh, in particular, in agriculture, mm -hmm. which is a mainstay in the region, mm -hmm. they had issues to do with tea, mm -hmm. uh, coffee. Very serious. And governance issues. too. Right. Uh, uh, governance. Yes. And very serious issues mm. with milk. Right now, there's a milk grant. Yes. Milk has gone from yes. I think 38 uh, shillings uh, per kilo to something like 26. Okay. And still, the fear that is still go, going down uh -huh. because of the grant. Mm. There were those issues. Mm. And in my constituency, of course, mm. I had issues of uh, of Mira. Mm. I had issues of infrastructure. Okay. So there were those issues. Okay. So uh, as for BBI. Mm -hmm. Um, the president did say uh -huh. it's not about succession, uh -huh. it is not about 2022. Okay. It's about bringing a climate where we can thrive, all of us, together. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we're still waiting for it, for, the, uh, for everything, then we'll decide later, right? You have this conversation again. Indeed, thank you so much for watching Perspective. Uh, I have been speaking uh, with Honorable Kano. Geoffrey Kingangi, who happens to be uh, at the Mbere South MP, talking about uh, State of the Nation and more uh, specifically talking about uh, today's uh, uh, KCSE and the state of education. Are things are different on the ground? Well, we we'll put a cup. We'll be right back with business news. Thank you. Thank you.